Hey guys! Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my everyday face routine. So basically it's just going to be like the, how I apply foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, highlight, all that kind of stuff. It will include my favorite products at the moment to use to do those things. I am going to be doing a separate video on my brows, so you can look forward to that in the next week or two. It was a requested video, so I'm not going to show how I do my brows in this video. But, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, right, and guys, let's get So, started. I did already moisturize my face and everything. I used my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel all over my face and then for around my eye area I use my Origins Eye Doctor Moisture Care for skin around eyes and for lip balm I use my sample of Jouer lip balm so to begin my face I always use a primer so right now I've been loving my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water so I just spray this all over my face And then I usually use a second primer as well because I have pretty large pores right in this area. So I like to use a pore minimizing primer. So my all-time favorite one is the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. I just get a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And then with any pore minimizing primer, you want to make sure that you're patting it into the skin. Um, you don't want to rub it in because you want to make sure that you're filling the pores with the product versus um, rubbing it in. And then after I prime my face, I go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this is the brightener one. I love this stuff for underneath the eyes. So I just place it right under my eyes just to brighten it up a little bit. Because I don't have extremely bad dark circles, but I do have some bad circles underneath my eyes. And then I just go in with my Royal Crown Cosmetics tapered brush and just pat it out. Alright, and then after I do that, I apply my foundation. So the way I really like to apply my foundation is with a beauty blender. I will either use the beauty blender or a Real Techniques sponge. I prefer that over a brush most of the time just because it's easier and I personally think it looks a little bit better, but anyway, I'm going to be using one of my favorite foundations at the moment, which is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and this is in the shade Porcelain. My other favorite one is the e.l.f. foundation, which is in Porcelain as well, um, if you want a more affordable, but I'm doing this one today because it's a little bit lighter. The e.l.f. one has a little bit of a heavier or thicker formula. So I just apply dots all over my face, and then I'll go in with the Beauty Blender and blend it all out. And I usually end, use the non-pointed end to do this. But you just want to make sure that you're patting it into the skin. Once again, you don't want to be rubbing it because that's just going to move the product around versus having it stay in one area. And this is definitely a buildable coverage foundation. First it will give you medium, but it's definitely buildable to full coverage. Alright, so then after foundation, I go in with my concealer, and right now I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in 
NW15. So this stuff a little bit goes a long way. I try not to press hard on the pump because you don't want too much to come out. So I just put a little dab on my finger and then I take my other finger and I just put it wherever I want concealer. So I usually do underneath my eyes some down the center of my nose forehead and on the side of my nose because I tend to get a little red and dark right there which is normal for most women and then I'll go back in with my beauty blender using the pointed end this time I usually start with my nose and do my eyes last And I do use a concealer that's about a shade or two lighter than my normal skin color because I really want it to brighten. In a while, I will do color correcting. I know that's really big right now. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how I do it, leave a comment down below. But I do know there's so many videos out right now on that. And if you guys don't want to see it, I don't want to film something that you guys don't really want to watch because there's already a ton of videos but if you want to see what I use like the products or anything like that how I do it just let me know down in the comments and I'll do it for you guys and you want to make sure when you do your under eye concealer that you dab back and forth don't go just in one motion um, because that is how it will settle into any lines that you might have and I personally have quite a bit of lines around my eye area mainly because I have allergies and when I was a little kid where we lived my eyes would be so disturbed that I would always rub 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 them and itch them and it was just awful so now as a result I have like crow's feet and some lines underneath my eyes it's just it's a problem so if you ever see me do an eye tutorial or post a picture and you kind of wonder why, that's why I have really bad allergies. But anyway, next, after I do that, I set my face. So I will go in, right now I'm really liking the Smashbox powder, and this is the Fo Photo Filter Creamy Powder Foundation in one. If I want a little bit more of a coverage or, you know, something like that, which I like the full coverage flawless look, so that's why I kind of like a powder foundation to set with. And this one is really nice and smooth. It's not cakey. So I'm going to be using this. I already hit pan on it. But I'm just going to powder my whole face. Then to set underneath my eyes, I'm obsessed with this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. It's my go-to contouring palette. So I just take the middle shade up here, Lyric and my Real Techniques brush and I will just set my under eyes with this. And if I want more of a brightening effect I'll go in with the lightest shade which is Levitation. And I'll just put that right over top. And then what I do is, since I already have this palette out after I set my eyes, I do my contour and bronzing. So, first I contour my nose. So, I use the middle shade here, Shadow Play, for my nose. Only because I don't want it to be super harsh. Um, I don't want it to look like I really chiseled my nose out. Because I don't need too much contouring in that area. I just like to give it some definition is really the only reason why I do this step. And then I'll just take my ring finger because it is, has the lightest touch out of all your fingers. So if you're going to blend out anything, use that finger. But I'm just going to go 
up and down my nose, just kind of blend it out a little bit. Make sure everything's nice and blended. Make sure there's no harsh lines. After I do my nose, I go onto my cheeks. So when I start my cheeks, I actually take Subconscious, which is more of a cooler shade, and I'll use this to slightly contour my cheeks. I don't like a harsh contour. It's just not something that I personally like. I don't like seeing a, like, like, I've seen really bad contours, and I just like it nice and subtle. So, I'll just set my cheeks in and place it where I like it. And I mainly concentrate it more on the back here and blend it up towards my temples. You don't really want it anywhere in this area. And a trick is, so you don't do your bronzer or contour too low, is actually apply it a little bit above where you would normally contour because you're more apt to blend downward um, than upward. So you almost want to start like right on your cheekbone because you'll probably blend downward. And it will also give the illusion that you have higher cheekbones as well. But then I'm going to go back in with the color that I used to contour my nose. Same brush. Go right over top to give it more of a bronzy look. And when I apply this, I do kind of more of a circular motion versus the back and forth motion when I do my contour because I just really want to kind of blend everything together. And then I'm going to use the same color and I'm going to bronze up the rest of my skin. So I'm going to do my chin. And a trick is, if you have a square a jawline like me, is to contour or bronze down there because it will kind of draw it back and make it look a little less harsh. And the last place I do it is my forehead. You want to make sure you get as close to the hairline as possible when you go around your face because you don't want any type of gap between your bronzer and your normal skin tone. You really want it to blend in. Make you look like you have that sun-kissed glow. After I do that, I move on to blush because I personally like to do my blush before my highlight. So... The blush I'm going to use today is my Tarte Captivating Blush. I've been obsessed with this one and the Benefit Dallas one lately. This is more of a coral peachy shade and it's matte, no shimmer. And just apply it to the apples of your cheek. I personally like to purse my lips together so I can really figure out where the apples on my cheeks are. And when I apply blush, I personally like to start in the middle and blend forward and backwards because I don't like putting my brush smack dab at the beginning of my apple and trying to blend backwards because I find that there's usually ends up being like a harsh line. So if you start in the middle, it avoids that. All right, and then the last thing is highlighter. So if I want more of a inner glow look versus like a more shimmery or like a Becca highlighter. I'll use my Laura Mercier highlight in 01. And this is just a little sample size. This will last forever, so I'm not going to hate it. 
but this will give you more of that J-Lo glow versus like a major highlight. And then I just place it on the upper cheekbones, up the temple. And then I go down the bridge of my nose, forehead, and chin. I will do my cupid bow um, once in a while, but I tend not to because I'm usually eating or drinking something shortly after I apply makeup, so it ends up going away anyway. But that is where I highlight, and then what I'll do is I will take a big fluffy brush at the very end, and I basically just go over all my cheek product just to make sure everything's blended, everything's kind of flowing into one another. I'm really concentrated down on the bronzer blush end of things. The highlight I usually don't really like to mess with. That's why I apply it last because it blends a little easier. And then to set everything, I personally like to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Spray. The other one I like to use is the L'Oreal setting spray if you're on more of a drugstore budget. Haven't tried the Maybelline one yet. I want to, but for right now, I have a backup of this one, and my L'Oreal one's pretty full still, so. Yep, yeah, let me know, though, down in the comments if you have tried it and like that setting spray. Um, that way, other people who are watching, if they know they don't like the L'Oreal one or can't afford this one, they have another option to try. But the e.l.f. one really smells bad, so don't get the e.l.f. one. It's cheap, but it smells bad. Side note. <laughs> but I just hold it a few inches away from me and I s spray in a circular motion and it just makes everything look nice, flawless. It kind of marries everything together. So that is the finished face. That's my everyday routine that I do when I apply my products. No matter what the product is, brand, that's how I apply it. And I am going to have a separate video on my brows. I'm going to be showing you some products that I really like, don't like, how I do my brows, all that good stuff. So that will be a separate video, so I will not be filming that in here. It was a requested video. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing so this. Here is the uh, finished look. I finished up my eyes and my lips, but it's really quick and easy what I do for a face routine. Once you get used to doing it, it's just a lot easier. Um, but I hope you guys learned something from this, whether it was a technique that I used, or maybe you want to try out a product I used, or a brush I used, anything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will leave all the products and brushes down below in the description box, so you guys can check down there if you are interested in any of the products or brushes. But other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video, alright? Bye.